Namaste children. Hope you are all doing well. Myself, Venkat, your chemistry teacher, is back to discuss chemical properties of metals and non-metals. By the end of this session, you will be able to learn chemical properties of metals and non-metals and also about metal reactivity series. Here comes the chemical properties of metals and non-metals. First one is reaction with oxygen. What happens when a metal reacts with oxygen? Have you ever experienced this? Generally, metals react with oxygen to form metallic oxides. I repeat, metals react with oxygen to form metallic oxides. These metallic oxides, when dissolved in water, they form bases. Hence, these metallic oxides are basic in nature. Metal plus oxygen gives metallic oxide. Here is an example. Magnesium, when it is reacted with oxygen, it gives magnesium oxide. In the form of an equation, Mg plus O2 gives 2 MgO. Let us see an experiment. As I already said, please do not try this experiment at your home. Beware. For this, we need a pair of tongs, magnesium ribbon, a spirit lamp and a matchbox. Hold the magnesium wire between the tongs and burn it using spirit lamp. We see a dazzling light and a white powder. Collect the white powder in a dish. This white powder which we see is magnesium oxide. Here is the reaction. Magnesium and oxygen combine in presence of heat to form magnesium oxide. And this is an example of combination reaction. Coming to non-metals. Non-metals react with oxygen to form non-metallic oxides. These non-metallic oxides when dissolved in water form acids. Hence these are acidic in nature. Let us start an experiment to see what happens when sulfur burns in oxygen. This is how a sulfur powder looks like, a bright yellow colored powder. And for this we need a special instrument called burning spatula which helps us in burning the substance and introducing it into a glass jar. Let me take some amount of sulfur into the burning spatula and then introduce it onto the flame. Interestingly, when I introduce this sulfur powder to the flame, it starts melting. You can see that the powder slowly converting into liquid. Once the whole powder is converted into liquid, now you can see that there is no more powder in the spatula. Then it starts catching fire. When it starts catching fire, Carefully, let us introduce this burning splinter or burning spatula into the glass jar which is filled with pure oxygen. You can see a beautiful blue colored flame in the jar. Sulfur is burning in presence of oxygen. A colorless gas is evolved which is called sulfur dioxide, poisonous gas. Let us see the nature of the gas. When I introduce a litmus paper to the jar, it turns red, indicating that the gas is an acidic reaction with water. What happens when metals react with water? Generally, all the metals do not react with water. Basing on the metal reactivity series, metals react with water. Highly reactive metals like sodium and potassium react vigorously even with cold water. Before going to this in detail, you should know what is metal reactivity series. Here we go with metal reactivity series. The arrangement of metals in the order of their reactivity is nothing but metal reactivity series. In this, we can see these following metals, potassium, 
सोडियम कैल्शियम मैग्नीशियम अल्यूमिनियम जिंक आयन लेड हाइड्रोजन कॉपर मेरक्यूरी सिल्वर एंड गोल्ड दीज आर अरेन्ज इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ देर रिएक्टिविटी पोटेशियम कम्स द फर्स्ट हाईली रिएक्टिव एंड गोल्ड कम्स लास्ट लीस्ट रिएक्टिव बेसिंग ऑन दिस द टॉप रिएक्टिव एलिमेंट्स लाइक सोडियम एंड पोटेशियम रिएक्ट विथ वॉटर इवन एट लो टेम्परेचर्स द रिएक्शन वुड बी सो विगरस so basing on the metal reactivity series we can say that highly reactive metals like sodium and potassium react vigorously even with cold water coming to moderately reactive metals moderately reactive metals like calcium magnesium react only with hot water they do not react with cold water or they do not react with water at low temperature whereas the least reactive metals like iron copper gold etc react only with steam non metals generally do not react with water coming to the next reaction reaction with acids let us look at an activity what happens when acids react with metals for this we need zinc hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and a matchbox place few zinc granules in both the beakers containing hcl and h2so4 we can see a colorless gas coming out of the beakers what is this gas let us test this gas by bringing a matchstick to the mouth of the beaker we observe that the matchstick burns with a pop sound Let us try it with the next beaker too. The gas which burns a matchstick with pop sound is hydrogen gas. Hence, we can conclude that metals react with acids to liberate hydrogen gas. coming to reaction with bases metals react with bases to liberate hydrogen gas the reactions remain the same metals react even with bases to liberate hydrogen gas here is an example zinc when reacted with sodium hydroxide gives sodium meta zincate along with hydrogen gas zn plus naoh gives NaZnO2 plus hydrogen gas reactions of non metals with bases are complex and these will be discussed in your higher classes coming to the last reaction displacement reaction as the name itself is suggesting reaction in which a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from a compound are called displacement reactions i repeat a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from a compound such reactions are called displacement reactions here we go with an example copper sulfate plus zinc gives zinc sulfate plus copper what happened in this reaction is 
कॉपर इज डिस्प्लेस्ड बाय जिंक सो हाउ डू जिंक डिस्प्लेस कॉपर बेसिंग ऑन द मेटल रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज जिंक इज मोर रिएक्टिव देन कॉपर हेंस कॉपर इज डिस्प्लेस्ड बाय जिंक सो to have better idea here we go with metal reactivity series once again in this can you find out where is zinc and where is copper yes zinc is above copper in the reactivity series hence it can displace copper from its compound so look at the equation once again to have a better understanding copper sulfate plus zinc gives zinc sulfate plus copper in this session we discussed chemical properties of metals and non metals